working on the weekend like usual. Something's missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen aluminum wheels. Nice in here. Here we are again. The weekend, Sunday morning. Yep. Why not? Why not Sunday morning? Because you work for yourself. You gotta take it when you can get it. And uh, I got this, um, picked up the Dodge Dakota the other day, but usually I, uh, I like to, when I get something on the weekend, I like to go down on a Saturday morning. You know, wake up kinda early, get it done Saturday. And then uh, the rest of the day, you know, you made some money, you can uh, do a few fun things, whatever, to family or something, you know, but we are um, taking this down on Sunday, one, because the guy I take stuff to, he's open every day, although... It was not open yesterday. And uh, normally he is, but, you know, he, he did something with his family. So he closed down for the day. So here we are. And uh, You know, something I wanted to um, talk about right away. Lately, I've been uh, having to explain myself to a few different people that what I do is not something that I, 
I do for spare money or, you know, to get a case of beer or something like that. This is, um, this is my, you know, full-time gig. This is it. This is my job. This is how I make money. I provide for my family with this money. I provide a service for people. And, uh, what I do every day is I hustle and I make money so that I can pay the bills. You know, it's not, this isn't something I'm just doing on the side. This is it. So, that being said, uh, bacon, egg, and cheese wraps because uh, in the heat, I forget to eat. Sometimes I don't really get hungry. And then um, when it kicks in, that's a uh, big problem with the blood sugar. But anyway... To whom it may concern, the fact that I'm out here surviving, making money to provide for me and my family and pay my bills and just try to live every day, maybe once in a while I'll have a few extra bucks to do something, you know, fun, maybe get a steak every now and then, you know, instead of a hot dog. I'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. And uh, if you're looking to mess that up in any way, it might be wise to rethink your decision on that. And uh, we'll just leave that at that. And I think you know what I'm talking about. So. Anyway. It's uh, 88 degrees here. It says on my dash. Outside, of course. Not in here. It's nice in here. See, look at this line. That's how bright the sun. I can't even... The sun is just baking outside. It's been pretty hot the last little while. Uh, supposed to get up in the 90s today and then tomorrow. Major drop right down in the 60s and rain. But I've been hauling cars. Nothing very good. Nothing I get even. I can't even start. They're missing parts. They don't run. But just basic junk this um, Dodge Dakota came from the same yard I've, it's the third vehicle I've taken out of the yard there um, if you remember I got an S10 an older S10 from there um and that trailblazer with the big problem with the lady and her ex-boyfriend and the title and the vandalism. That whole thing. Well, girl that lives there, father died not too long ago. And she's having a real problem with the house and, you know, stuff around there. There's a lot of junk. There's, uh... Lots and lots of boats and snowmobile bodies and lawnmowers and just uh, a lot of crap. Well, she contacted me recently and asked if I could help clean some stuff up, you know. And this Dodge, when I was there uh, in the winter to get that S10... She got kind of mad because I told her I couldn't um, I couldn't pay anything for this Dodge because it was incomplete, you know. I looked under there, and uh, there was no cat on it. They had just uh, 
welded in a straight pipe. So she got a little, she was a little bit aggravated on that, but um, so that sat there and uh, I was able to buy the S10 because it had a cat on it. But anyway, she said, I don't want, I just want, I need to get this yard cleaned up and get rid of this junk. She said, so anything you can take, you know, um, she said, I understand, you know, the price of light iron is down. She already knew. And I said, yeah, I can't be hauling that stuff. Um, I'm actually just the, uh, the light stuff appliances and I charge people to take them out and then I end up. Um, I actually, I just take them to the local dump because uh, it's just, it's not worth it at $50 a ton to, for me to haul it 90 miles. Um, I'm actually, not only am I not making money, but I'm losing money because of the fuel. It's just not even, it doesn't even make sense to do it. So um, that's really the story on that. The light iron is, uh, I don't even want any of it. Um, once in a while, if I get a vehicle or something, I can, you know, throw some in. Then, not too bad, but other than that, um, anyway, she said, you know, I don't want nothing for that Dodge if you can just haul it away. So, I went over and I said, yeah, I can, I can get rid of that Dodge for you. So, they lost the key to it and it's a, there's no title, but... It's, old, it's a 99, so I didn't need a title to scrap it. So, she said there's a bunch of crap in the back. If you want to load anything else out, anything laying on the ground, just throw it in. So I went over and just popped the ignition out so I could uh, get the steer wheel unlocked. And I noticed a couple of things different than when I looked at it before for one there's no transmission in it no transfer keys um, so no problem uh, pulling it up on there all the tires were up all the brakes were unseized so that was okay but then I was looking under there well Actually, the first thing I seen was when I opened the door. If you remember, that S10, I found $50 between the seats. Two 20s and a 10. Very old, dry money that had been sitting down there for a long time. Well, I say, this has got to be a joke. I open up the door of that Dodge Dakota. The glove box is broken and open. Sitting in the glove box is money. I can see cash sitting there. So, I didn't touch it. Because, maybe, maybe that, that money was left there for somebody. So, I continued about my business. And I loaded the truck up. I had to go over to um, a friend's house in town and help him weld up a couple of uh, exhaust pieces on his truck. So I just waited and sure enough, the girl ended up waking up that day and saw that the truck was gone and said, messaged me and said, oh shit. Someone dropped me off 75 bucks in the glove box of that truck. And then you took it. She said, please tell me you found it. And I said, oh, no. I didn't find, I said, I didn't let on and I found the money. I just said, uh, I said, no, it's still on my trailer, though, so I'll take a look. And I just said, oh, yeah, the money's right here. So I went and gave it back to her. So, kind of a bummer there. I thought I got a little $75 tip for the day. But, then, got looking at the truck a little more. 
when I looked at it uh, back in the winter, I looked at it in the front underneath where the cat would be, and you could see clearly that it was gone. And I know that that truck where it's supposed to be and what it looks like, obviously, because I've scrapped many of them. Um, so I just figured that, you know, it was bypassed at one time and it's not there. Well, now I look under there, I look further back and they had um, kind of made a custom tailpipe there that went through the bumper. And they put like one of those small race uh, Flowmaster mufflers, but before the muffler, what did I see there? There was a cat there. We even had an O2 sensor in it, which usually when they got an O2 sensor, their uh, their factory, not aftermarket. It looked like the original Dodge Cat that was, but they had moved it from the front and welded it in in the back before the muffler. So I think he might have, uh, you know, decided to put it back on after. Maybe it was too loud or maybe just, you know, for a visual um, looks, he wanted it on there, legal reasons. I don't know. But I got excited because I said, well, maybe, you know, maybe I did get a complete truck here. And, well, it's incomplete because I can't sell it complete because the transmission's gone. But I said, well, I'm definitely going to cut the cat off and see. So I got that cut off, and it was totally hollow, nothing in it. So lady walking all around looking, looks lost. Anyway. That was a bummer too, so basically just got weight, you know, it's just uh, just scrap, but um, to maximize my money, I drained all the fluids. Uh, obviously did not have to drain a transmission. Look at that glare on that, huh? There we go. But drain the fluids, uh, get a little more per ton out of it. Threw some more metal in there. Um, got some aluminum wheels that I put on Marketplace for a couple of weeks, and that's all I do. If they don't sell, which they usually do because I price them really low, but uh, these two sets I had, uh, nobody was interested, so. Uh, $12 a wheel with the tire, it's what he pays. So after I take the ones off this, I got uh, 13 all together. 13 wheels and tires. A lot of movement around here today. So, I think we're going to skedaddle from this uh, parking lot. It's getting a little bit uh, crammed up. And um, see what happens next.
for a minute. So, not too bad on the uh, Dodge Dakota. We drove in, we weighed in at 13,200 pounds. dropped off the Dodge, went back on, weighed in at 89.80, so a payout weight was 42.20, and I think it's 110 a ton if you drain them right now, so um, didn't even write that on there, but uh, anyway, 13 aluminum rims with tires, $12 a piece. And those two little batteries from a power chair, little handicap scooter thing, uh, they counted it as one battery. So, I don't know, five bucks I think is what it says. Uh, looks like they weighed it, but then just gave you one battery price, so five bucks. So I was hoping to get at least 300 bucks out of that, out of everything today, you know, to make it not such a bad day. And I ended up getting $390 for all that stuff. So not too bad. Uh, 
Rosie's not here today. A little too hot, you know. No need to. We got AC in the truck, but there's just no need for her to be out. I shouldn't even be out in this heat. So uh, we're up to 91. We got a bee flying around. I don't know if it's in here. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Walked away with 390. And uh, on my way to pick up another one. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good Sunday. Um, a few months ago, I got a message from a guy on my Facebook page there. And uh, he said, I got an 06 uh, Chevy truck with a plow. I'm looking to uh, get rid of. Looking at junk. It's all rotted. Looking to get rid of it. Don't use it anymore. Hasn't been running in a long time. So you might say... Ooh, nice with a plow, but I don't get really excited about stuff up here with plows because if someone's getting rid of a truck with a plow up here, it's uh, it's pretty bad, and the plow is not going to be usable or good to sell or anything, and actually it hinders uh, my whole process more because I can't fit uh, one of those trucks on the trailer with the plow um, it ends up uh, getting to let the bee out. Um, it gets too close to the tailgate on this uh, with the trailer hitch that's on this truck. I'm not able to put an extension on it, so the tongue's really close. And then add on that lift gate that sticks out this much, at least. Um, I end up putting a truck with a plow on and I can't turn because when I turn that blades gonna hit the truck right so I don't get really excited when I see a plow truck so he said you know if you want to come take a look at it you know let me know and and this this guy it sounded like he was just you know he wanted this thing out of there just looking I mean he told me it was pure junk you know so I went over there to look at it, and uh, this thing was, it was pretty bad, like he said, pretty rotted, but all there, perfectly complete, had the stock cats on it, all the parts were on it, I think just the battery was out, but um, had a minute melt plow that was just rusted, I mean, real bad, probably, you know, too far gone to sell, maybe for parts, but, so, we ended up we started talking anyway and I I uh, I gave him my price first and he sort of uh, no he did not like that price and I said well he said oh geez it's got a plow and everything you know and I said yeah well I said you know not to be a jerk here but you call the junk removal business you know I pick up junk vehicles I said, what, what were you, what were you looking to get on this, you know? And he said, oh, geez, I'd have to get about seven hundred dollars. I said, seven hundred dollars. I have yet to pay anywhere close to that for a junk vehicle. I said, I don't know who you thought you were calling. Again, I'm trying to be nice, but he said, no, no. He said, I'm not trying to be a jerk either. He said, but you know. Uh, you know there's some value and I said well you know you weren't calling somebody that buys and sells vehicles really I mean I, I pick up junk you know so um, I don't understand and so he apologized and uh, then I ended up saying oh, I forget what exactly happened we he said he would take 500 he came down to 500 bucks for the whole thing and at that point it was like you know i'm a gambling man i mean with the cats with the stuff that's on it the tires are not too bad you know i'm trying to calculate things in my head real fast and see if i can make money and uh i was like you know what like yeah i'm like i'm up on two other cars like i'll pay 500 bucks for it he's like okay got the title yet got title and everything so I said, no, um, 
we're gonna have to unclick that plow and and uh, you know alley oop it up in the uh, up in the bed of the truck or something or you know on the end of the trailer and he got all kinds of weird about that and I said well it's a minimal plow I said you, you don't know how to take it off you've had it for you told me you had the truck for years he said yeah but I've never taken the plow off it's just been in the driveway and he said, I got a bad back, and I can't be messing around. And I was like, well, I'm like, geez, you know, you got to work with me somehow. I mean, you know, the plow's got to come off. So then I said, well, what if we just take the plow off, and, you know, I'll give you, like, 300 bucks for the truck. And he kind of liked that, but he didn't want to help. So I was like, well... I don't know what to tell you. I was like, you know, at this point, I'm like, you know, maybe, maybe you just want to sit on it. And, uh, cause I wasn't too excited. I, I wasn't, I didn't stand to make like a million dollars off this truck. So I wasn't too excited about getting it, but, um, you know, it's like, I'm like, maybe you just want to wait and, you know, if you can get some help or something, you know, and you want to, because then, then he's talking about he could keep the plow and sell it. And I said, well, I called his bluff. I said, why don't you get some help, take the plow off, do what you want with that. And I said, give me a call, I'll come back and, you know, buy the truck off you without it. And uh, so, yeah, he kind of apologized and said, you know, no big deal, no hard feelings. Um, I'll, I'll see what I can do in the next couple of weeks and uh, get back to you. Well... I didn't hold my breath any, that's for sure. Um, and like I said, that was months ago, and I figured I'd never hear from him again. Well, he contacted me, just just called, just messaged me, and said, you know, you remember? And I said, yeah, I remember. I remember you and the one. He said, well, I got the plow off that truck, and uh, I was wondering if you were still interested. And I said, well. The prices have gone down quite a bit since then, uh, and so I made him an offer on it, and uh, he accepted. He said he just wants it gone. Um, so, looks like uh, the deal I offered him, he said, you know, can that be today? And I said, yeah, screw it. I'll pick it up today. So, take a little bit of that money, a little bit of our profits and invest it right back into the next one. This is what I do. This is my life. So, it's right on the way home. Stop and get that. And um, my guy that I bring, well, my guy I bring cars to is, uh, he's starting to part of melt with the prices of metal being down. He's doing a lot of cores and, and parting stuff out, so, for uh for that truck he might that might tickle his fancy a little bit being an 06 um it's up over that year so uh hopefully the truck's still in one piece except for the plow and uh everything goes smooth he said he's got the title to it because for an 06 i need the title and um that's it stop for a quick uh rest area break uh all that time only made it through half the coffee. No time for lunch yet. So we'll see what happens when we get there. Here I am. Things happened uh, since that last I don't even know part of the video uh, I got the truck and I ended up having to go rescue a friend that was broken down so I had a fiasco of getting the truck on there guy swapped the wheels out put 16's on there you can only put 17's on an 06 because they hit the calipers so I ended up having to put on a, put on my spare wheel from my truck to get it on there and uh, 
all because the guy stole the wheels off of it that were part of the deal. So, way she goes, boys. It's the way she goes. That's how people are. But, hey, got four aluminum wheels anyway with it. Got going down the road. Stupid chrome running board. Tube step, whatever you want to call it. Right against the trailer tire. Smoke everywhere. All because the truck had a flat in the back. Had to change that. Big day. Sweaty. Big day. Rescued the guy. Towed the car. All done. It's the end of the day. Six o'clock or so. Come home. This is what I get. Blueberry lemonade with rum. Blueberry rum and fresh Maine blueberries. It's all worth it. I'm done. Or maybe I need some Chinese food. There she is, in all of her glory. Z71. And they rotten on the bottom. Don't look too bad in here, boys. Ooh, what's that under there? You forgot your little joystick. GMC. Lines. Oh no, all the brake lines. What's this? I don't know. What's this? Blanket. It's a nice little, nice little blanket there. Full four door. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Got the hard top on. What's going on here? <laughs> oh. Looks like he gave me all of his trash. This is a nice one. That was a real nice one. I ain't coming out of there. <clears throat> GMC. It's the best. Solid fold. X Tang. go
till tomorrow. Good night.